All right, Woody, it is Mail Monday, and you know Welcome what- Welcome to Mail Monday. Today I grew up and me wants to show you some fan mail that we've got. You can talk? Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. Hey, howdy, hey, partners. Welcome to Mail Monday. Buzz Lightyear here from the new Lightyear movie in my new beta suit. I stole it from Buzz from Toy Story. Don't tell him. Anyways, our first series of letters comes from Andy. Not that Andy from Toy Story, but a fan named Andy. Let's see what he sent in. First up, we got this nice drawing of Toy Story. I love the logo. Good job on that, partner. Next, we got To Infinity and Beyond. Excellent drawing of Buzz Lightyear. You did a fantastic job. It's really, really cool and very well done. So thank you, partner, for signing this. I love that it says To Infinity and Beyond, and it's very fantastic. Next one we have is Friends Forever, Four Foot Tall Woody, and there's me. Today I grew up Sid edition with my Sid shirt. I should probably do some more Today I grew up Sid videos. And I'm definitely going to be making more videos soon with Four Foot Tall Woody because it's been a while and I want to bring him back to the channel. So you'll see him very soon on this channel again for some really fun and crazy videos. But thanks partner for this drawing. It's really cool. The next one we got is Reach for the Sky. Here's Woody and I really love the artwork with the cactus and there's a snake in my boot. I love that. And there's a Woody's gun. <laughs> nice. And the pull string. Good job, partner. You did a good job on this drawing as well. And you also drew this wanted Mr. Potato Head 50 bazillion reward. Very iconic from the Toy Story scene for the playtime scene from Toy Story 1. I really love it a lot. And I love that you added some color on this one. We got another one, Sheriff Woody and Buzz Lightyear. I really love this. Thank you so much for taking the time to draw and color these. They look really great. This is one of my more favorite ones that you sent in. This one's really funny. I've never in my life seen a Kermit the Frog in a Woody outfit. So thank you for drawing something and coloring something that's so rare I've never seen in my life. That's kind of hard to do. So I appreciate you sending this. I can just imagine what he's saying. Hey guys, there's a snake in my boot. I don't really have a good impersonation for Kermit, but I can just imagine him talking to us about Toy Story. So funny. And the last one that we got from Andy is this, ah, Woody getting burned by Sid's magnifying glass in Toy Story movie. Really fun scene. This is probably one of my favorite ones that you sent. And eventually I want to do like a fan letter wall and fan art. This would definitely be on the top or center of it because it's so cool. So thank you again, Andy, for sending this in. I really enjoyed seeing all the pictures. Thanks, Andy. Next time, draw Lightyear Buzz, huh? I know you like Buzz Lightyear, but I'm Lightyear Buzz. Next letter says, Hi, today I grew up. I'm your biggest ever time you post new videos. I watch immediately. If you have a Woody Signature Collection hat, standard body, can you send me them? I get it. If you don't have any... Bye today I grew up. I'm your biggest fan. On the back it says from your biggest fan aka Elijah Vance. Thank you Elijah Vance for sending this letter and Elijah also took the time to also paint and color this which is really cool uh, and it's the same picture we just got for uh, Toy Story 1 playtime scene. So you did a great job on this too. I really love your potato head drawing. It's super cool. And thank you for sharing that with us, partner. You've got him friend of me to infinity and beyond. Nice drawing of Mr. Potato Head. That guy's funny. Next letter is from Elijah. It says, Dear Today I Grew Up. Hello, my name is Elijah. And just wanted to say hi. I really like your Toy Story collection. What my two favorites are 1995 Woody and your custom Buzz Lightyear. P.S. Here's a drawing of 1995 Woody. And he says, Hello. I love it. Thank you, partner. That's really cool. Sincerely, Elijah. You did a really great job on your Woody drawing. I like that you included the pull string, the vest, all the details of the shirt and the buttons. You did a really good job. It really does look like 1995 Woody here. I really love that expression on the face. You can definitely tell. Also today I grew up. May you please sign this paper and send it back from Elijah. Because you asked so nicely and you drew Woody down here again, I'll definitely sign this and send it back to you. I will be offering autographs at some point on my todaygrip.com shop soon, so you won't have to request this anymore. You'll be able to do it through there. But for now, I will send this back. Thank you, partner. Elijah, you did a great job on 1995 Woody. Keep up the great work. Next letter comes from Hunter. It says, Today I grew up. I'm going to 3D print a stand for my Hasbro Woody, and I'm making a homemade talking Buzz Lightyear with a movie design and make it be like the Thinkway toy one with a Tim Allen voice. 
and pop out wings. If you see the wings and the circle button, I drew the wings and the button. I also drew the red, yellow, and black stand. Signed, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter, for this letter. Here is the stand, a nice collection stand drawing. You did a really great job on that. Looks pretty pro. Here is a jetpack from the new Lightyear movie. That's really cool. Good job on that too. That looks really great. Here's another letter by Hunter. It says, today I grew up, I was thinking of making a talking Buzz Lightyear with that head sculpt and the chest plate and give it to my grandpa. Signed, Hunter. That's a great idea. Why not give it to your grandpa? And here is the drawing. Great job, partner. I really love this Buzz Lightyear. His facial expression is really great. It looks like he's in toy mode. And I love that you did the little lines. Those are often missed in drawings. So that's cool that you did the lines here of the toy where the seams would be. And you did a really great job on the details here with the laser. You have the wrist communicator opening there. The buttons are correct and everything. Very cool drawing, and I love that you included the helmet on Buzz. You did a great job, partner. Hunter, you did a great job. That really does look like me. You've got a future in this business, Space Ranger. Next letter I got says, Dear Today I Grew Up, Hey there, it's Hacker Billy here. Huge fan of the channel. It's been a pleasure getting to see my stuff featured on your channel. It's incredible. I added extra stickers to this pack for you to use in projects or give away. I really hope you enjoy them. I also included a set of the more durable test vinyl ones. I would like to know what your thoughts are on them. Thanks for being incredible. Hacker Billy and the Space Ranger logo. <laughs> Thanks partner for sending this in. I really appreciate you sending more stickers so that I can do future mods with Buzz. So here we have the new, he marked them actually vinyl on the back. So these are the new and improved vinyl stickers. And just to compare it with the non-vinyl finish, you can see here that this one almost has more of a matte finish and this one's kind of more glossy, I would say. But I believe the matte look is a little bit more movie accurate because in the movie, it doesn't really look as glossy and shiny as this. Either way, they're both gonna look great though when you upgrade Buzz. And I will be upgrading stickers on Buzz in a future video because I have more than one Buzz that I could use it on. But thanks again, Hacker Billy. You can find him on Instagram. Great guy, great partner, and continue to do amazing work. And thank you so much for sharing your talent with us here on Today I Grew Up. Thanks for the upgrade, partner. I really look forward to the new sticker applications. Partners, this is a very special card. Why? Because it came all the way from Iceland. I cannot believe it. It is all the way from Iceland. And it's just incredible. This says, Dear Today I Grew Up, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Or as we say in Iceland, let me try to pronounce this, I probably really butchered that, so I apologize. <laughs> but uh, that's really cool to learn that that's what is said in Iceland. And maybe I'll use Google Translate later and try to get the correct pronunciation. I've never spoken any kind of Icelandic language, uh, as far as I know. <laughs> From your friend in Iceland, Ingi. I remember you, Ingi. Thank you so much for sending this. I really appreciate it. And this is a really fun drawing. It looks like Mr. Potato Head with a Santa hat. So you did a good job on that. It looks like Santa Claus. So maybe that is St. Nicholas, Santa Claus, which is cool because Santa Claus is a pretty much worldwide thing uh, for the most part. But thank you so much, partner. I appreciate you, Ingi from Iceland. This was a real treat today. Hey, Ingi from Iceland. So tell me, is Iceland really full of ice? Because that means it'd be very cold but I'd like to visit it one day. And happy new year to you too, Space Ranger. Last package of today says, inside this package is a rare Chinese newspaper issued in year 2019 for years to keep as a souvenir. I also got a second package from him and it says, today I grew up, inside this package is a brand new DVD for years to keep as a souvenir. Have a wonderful month of January. Best regards, Dream Big Productions slash Plush Bat Fan very rare indeed but that's actually really neat uh this is really cool thanks for this awesome souvenir very unique and i wish i could read it again i'll probably have to use google translate to read it here is the dvd that i got cats and dogs pause three unite whoa this actually looks like a cool movie i gotta watch it i do love pet movies and movies about pets and it looks pretty fun. It says Operation Mass Mayhem. Looks like a pretty fun movie about dogs and cats and animals in the city, it looks like. So, yeah, I've never heard of this. So I'm definitely going to watch it. And I'll let you know what I think about this in a future video. But thank you, partner, so much for sending me cool and unique items to always add to my collection. Well, partners, it's that time again to get into the voicemails. 
Let's hear what we got. Hey, howdy, hey, partners. It's that time again to listen to the voicemails. Let's hear the first one that we got. Uh, hello. It's me again. I saw the mail Monday. Um, that Brian, by the way, I forgot, I forgot to say that. But, uh, yeah, I just saw your mail Monday, and I thought I was featured. And to give you guys an update, Lenny did come in. And, yes, it is uh, the movie, like, replica, movie scare replica, Disney on Ice, Lenny. Uh, it, I'm pretty sure he has a sticker at the bottom that says Disney on Ice. Right now, he's, like, um, being displayed on uh, another toy I bought recently. A uh, bucket of soldiers came with everything. I got it for 20 bucks, and I recently just ordered a, uh, the movie scale Disney store, Sparks Robot for $25. Again, this is like, this was like, uh, a really good find too, because it is actually the full scale, it's not the tiny version. Like, I checked multiple times. It has extendable arms, the clear red plastic, um, the wheels and everything. So, if you want to give you guys an update on that, and I'm thinking about making an Instagram page where I show off my Disney collection. But yeah, I just want to give you an update on that. And you know, thank you for featuring me on Mail Monday. Appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much, partner, for leaving that thoughtful voicemail to update us. And I'm so happy that you didn't get scammed, and I'm happy you actually got Disney on Ice, Lenny, which is actually a very rare find, especially for the price that you paid is such a steal so congratulations and also the fact that you found a sparks robot for only 25 bucks wow that's really cheap and i actually paid over a hundred dollars for mine because i had to rebuy it recently but wow that is such a deal and that's amazing that you found it and it's actually made by thinkway toys uh disney store never made a, a movie accurate size sparks as far as i know thinkway toys is the one who made it but it's still an amazing toy and I'm so happy for you. And if you do make an Instagram page, update us again. Let us know what that is so we can follow you and help support you as our fellow partner. Best of luck in your collection. Sounds like you're doing a great job. See, partners, if you put in the work and work hard and search the internet every day, you can find some really great deals out there to help build your Toy Story collection, too. Now let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hey, girl. This is Sebastian Valdo. I was pretty surprised that I was in your mail Monday thing. Make sure you feature me again. My favorite memorable video that I, I watched was the Home Alone Deluxe Talk Boy and the Turbo Man action figure. I really want one for Christmas. But at least Valentine's Day in, the, in January is going to be magnificent. But I think I mean by magnificent. Oh well. Gotta go. You wanna have chicken noodle soup for dinner? What's your favorite food anyway? Well, time for me to hang out. From your biggest fan, Sebastian Valdez. Bye! Thank you so much, partner, for calling in. Sebastian Valdez, a great partner who's always calling in and supporting this channel. I really appreciate that. I really do hope one day you do get the Home Alone Talk Boy and the Turbo Man action figure. They're both very cool items. Turbo Man should be a little easier to find because they did release them recently at Walmart for an exclusive this last holiday season and this last year or so. So you should be able to find one at a good price. The Home Alone Talk Boy, I think, is a little bit harder to find because they haven't made it since the 90s. So it's a very expensive sometimes to find, especially in great condition. So I wish you the best of luck on your search for that eventually. But it is a really cool piece, especially if you're a big Home Alone fan. Um, it's funny that you said you had chicken noodle soup for dinner and you asked what's my favorite food. Well, my favorite food to eat is actually Mexican food, Italian food. I love American food. It's really hard to pick one. I love Thai food. I just love food in general. So it's really hard to pick one. But I guess if I had to pick one thing to eat, it would be pizza. Like, I just love pizza. I think pizza is a great food. And, of course, can't go wrong with In-N-Out Burger, a local favorite here in California. If you're in California, eat In-N-Out Burger. They've definitely expanded recently, so you might find it in a different state too. But that is definitely my top two favorite foods. All right, let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Sorry, it's me again. I was just wanting to let you know. Have you ever watched SML videos and SML YTP videos? At least just shake a leg and, and you'll be okay. Okay, see you then. That was really funny. Thank you, partner, for calling in. 
I think you're saying uh, shake a leg. That's pretty pretty great. I think I've never heard that one before, but I have watched SML videos to answer your question. They are really funny and very entertaining, and I've gotten some inspiration from those videos to make original shorts. It's just really fun, and it's something that I've followed over the years, definitely on YouTube space for comedy videos. Thanks, partner. I appreciate you, and let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Oi, today I grew up. Love your videos. Have a good day. Thank you, partner, for calling in. I love how you're talking. It's kind of like, hello, today I grew up. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the content here at Today I Grew Up, and I hope you keep enjoying the future videos that I have planned coming up soon. All right, let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Oh, well, Today I Grew Up, it's Jaden again. You might have known me on a few episodes since 27, I think. Episode 27, when I mean that. So when I made those Woody and Buzz blushes, I really don't know how to like, make a video, but I'm going to make a TikTok soon. So I might watch you on the next uh, Mail Monday. So if it's Monday, so hey, everyone on YouTube and me if I'm watching. So yeah, today I grew up. I'm going to make a TikTok soon. If you see the TikTok, I'll show you the William Buzz uh, pushes. So yeah, I'm going to show you that probably when I make the TikTok. I'll show you, I'll tell you the TikTok name soon. So yeah, you're cool and stuff. I don't know why I keep doing, it's probably annoying you. See, I did it again. Well, uh, if it's not annoying you, just, yeah, you're probably going to say something. So yeah, if I'm watching this. Hello, me and other people out there. Happy late New Year. So, yeah. All right, bye. Thank you so much, Jaden, another great partner of this channel. I appreciate you calling in to leave that very thoughtful voicemail. Don't worry, I'm not annoyed about anything. If anything, I'm entertained by all these voicemails that I get. I always have a great time listening to them. So, you're all good there. Also, thank you for sharing about your possible TikTok account that you're going to be making. We'd love to hear it so that we can help follow you and support you once you have created your account. So call us back when you have that ready, and we'd love to see your Toy Story collection or plushes or whatever you want to show off. I'm sure it's going to be really fun content on TikTok. Thanks, partner, and we'll hear from you again soon, I hope. All right, let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Okay, Mr. Mr. Grow Up, make, make a New Year's Woody and, a, and make a lovable plush Woody, huggable plush Woody, toy mode, make it into life mode, make it on YouTube, same with Buzz, huh, take care. Mr. Gorilla, have fun, Mr. Gorilla, goodbye, and oh so, mate, buy old rugs, 3D painted. <laughs> Thanks, partner, for calling in. I just love the way it sounded the whole time. Mr. Grow Up, make a New Year's Woody. I don't even know what a New Year's Woody would look like, but uh, maybe he's just wearing New Year's, Happy New Year's outfit. I'm not sure. <laughs> Also, it's funny when you're like, make it toy mode, make it a live mode, buy a Rex, 3D paint him. It's really fun, partner. I don't, I don't really understand what you're asking of me, but I'm very entertained by your voicemail. So call back anytime. All right, let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hi, today, up. This is Sebastian Valdez again, and I was wondering if you got my uh, voicemail yet. And now to ask you some quick questions. What's the scariest movie you ever watch? Is it A, Chucky, B, Friday the 13th, C, It, the so, uh, 2019 version, or D, none of the above? Second question, what do you spend your money most on? And third question, do you like spinach, anchovies, and pineapple on your pizza? I know, I know, I never tried that. From your biggest fan, Sebastian Valdez. Happy New Year, and bye-bye today, I grew up. 
Bye. Happy New Year to you, Sebastian Valdez. Thank you again for calling. That was really kind of you. And I did feature you again, but I really liked the questions that you asked me. So to answer them, the first one you asked is, what is the scariest movie I've ever seen? And you gave me some options. Out of your list, I'm going to pick Chucky. Because although I don't think I saw the full movie, I remember being a little kid and seeing like the trailer for it or whatever clips I accidentally saw on TV when it was on. And I remember it scared me so bad, I had a nightmare. And I remember uh, having a nightmare of Chucky chasing me in the kitchen, and it was not fun. <laughs> I definitely woke up screaming, and to this day, it's just not something I'm into watching at all. But yeah, I, if I had to pick one from that list, Chucky would win because of my childhood experiences with that. Also, to answer the second question, what do I spend my money most on? I would say for this channel specifically, I spend my money most on movie accurate mods. Those are the most expensive things on this channel. That's why I don't always feature them because they do run me a lot of money. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Like my Stinky Pete mitten box was $1,000. So sometimes these custom woodies and buzzes and repaints and things that I hire 3D print artists for or paint artists for, they cost me a lot of money. So at the end of the day, um, when I do those custom mod videos, they can be very expensive. Sometimes I could do the work myself and save money, but oftentimes it is the custom movie accurate mod toys that are the most expensive to make because you're basically making something that doesn't exist into existence, which means hiring people to help you because I can't do it all myself, which means you're spending a lot of money, <laughs> and especially with rare materials. So that's definitely the most expensive thing or where my money goes the most for this channel. The third question was, what do I like? Do I like anchovies? No, I do not like spinach or anchovies on pizza. I do love pineapple on pizza though. It's definitely really good. I've been to Italy before, and if I'm in Italy, I know that's against the law. <laughs> well, not literally, but I know you're never supposed to put pineapple on pizza. But in America, for some reason, I just like doing it. I like the sweet and salty together. I think it's pretty good. So to me, I don't mind it. I love pineapple on pizza. But if I'm traveling to Italy or something or an authentic restaurant, I'm probably just not going to put pineapple on my pizza. Anyways, thank you again. It was really fun hearing from you once again. Let's hear the last voicemail that we got today. Well, what do you know? Zerg called in <laughs> and he's still looking for Buzz Lightyear. Well, sorry, Zerg, you called the wrong number. You called Today I Grew Up, not Buzz Lightyear. So I'm sorry to disappoint you there. Anyways, partners, that's all we have time for today. As always, partners, thank you so much for listening and contributing. If you want to be part of Mail Monday, that are featured once a month, all you have to do is leave a voicemail at my voicemail number and or you can mail something to my PO box and you can get featured and get a shout out for the next Mail Monday. Always work hard, dream big, never give up, put your mind to it and you can accomplish anything and make impossible into possible and that's how our dreams can come true. If you would like to call in and leave a voicemail, it's 909-312-4548. That's 909-312-4548. If you partners would like to be part of the Today I Grew Up Mail Monday show, all you have to do is copy the address here on the screen. And whatever you send in, we can review and give you a shout out for the next Mail Monday episode. As long as we have mail coming in, we can keep these Mail Mondays going forever. Take care, partners, and you've got a friend in me. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, no, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.